Good evening, everyone. My name is Bill Coppathorn. I'm the assistant town engineer for the town of Arlington. I'm here to talk to you about Article 11, which is an update to the town's stormwater management bylaw. The town has had a stormwater management bylaw for over a decade now, and these updates are in response to some U.S. Uh, Environmental Protection Agency permit updates that the town needs to meet. I will run through those as we proceed through this presentation, but first I'd like to give you a brief overview of stormwater and stormwater management in general. First off, stormwater is simply the runoff from hard surfaces or impervious surfaces uh, from precipitation that falls, whether it be snow or rain. This can be from both public and private properties. As the runoff leaves those properties or the town systems, uh, it can pick up pollutants, uh, nutrients, and other items, including trash, that can create localized flooding and also pollute local water bodies like the Owlwife Brook, Mill Brook, and Mystic River. So for years, Arlington has had to comply with a stormwater permit from the United States Environmental Protection Agency, as I noted. This was part of the reason that the earlier version of the town's stormwater mitigation bylaw was put in place. And since 2016, there has been a series of uh, updates promulgated that require us to make further improvements to our town stormwater systems and also to our local stormwater regulations and bylaws. So under our current stormwater mitigation bylaw, the town requires that any changes on private properties that increase the amount of impervious area, essentially hardscapes or um, through which water cannot penetrate into the underlying ground, uh, an increase of over 350 square feet of impervious area on a developed site or 500 square feet on an undeveloped site requires that a stormwater mitigation review occur. And we can call this a stormwater permit as well. Basically, this ensures that the town maintains compliance with its US EPA permit and also that we can make strides towards improving our conditions in the local waterways. There's been some confusion on, on some of the applications of this permit. So the updated bylaw not only helps keep us in compliance with our um, EPA permitting, but also helps try to clarify some of those, some of that confusion. The updates to the town's stormwater bylaw are aimed at maintaining compliance, as I noted, with our permitting, but will do so by making it more clear how uh, private sites will be governed by the permit. Uh, there's been some confusion in the past as to exactly what counts towards the 350 square foot minimum. Uh, this bylaw update clarifies that all increases in Paris area, whether that is a patio, walkway, driveway, qualify towards that 350 square feet. Um, it also clarifies how stormwater retention must occur on the site and how that will be done. And further, it specifically denotes what type of pollutant removals are needed from the systems. This includes suspended solids and nutrients like phosphorus this will allow us to remain compliant with the US EPA permitting. 